Rigathi Gachagua, the Madeira member of parliament, has been arrested. What is the objective of that arrest? Denis Itumbi, the hustler's spokesperson, is claiming that Rigathi Gachagua has been arrested because of the outcome of the Kiamba parliamentary by election. But in this video today, I want to give you four reasons why Rigadi Gashagwa has been arrested. But one thing we can conclude, and I'm going to do this in details, is that the arrest can be two reasons. Either engineered by those around the president, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, those around the president, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, or those around the deputy president, William Samiruta. But before we go into all those details, if you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will notify you. And again, yesterday, I want to ask again for your forgiveness. I was not able to produce a video. I went to Siaya and I thought I would come back maybe, but I came back very late and I was very, very tired. Now let us get back to business and ask ourselves one question. Who is Rigadi Gashagwa? And why is he always in the limelight? Rigadi Gashagwa is not your ordinary politician. Rigadi Gashagwa is a former DO, district officer, who rose to become, I think, a DC, one of the most powerful DCs in the Republic of Kenya. And he was very close to the former president, Daniel Torontich Arap Moy. Apart from that, Rigadi Gashagwa was President Uhuru Kenyatta's personal assistant up to the time he even contested for the presidency in 2002. The brother, Rigadi Gashagwa, a man I really respected in this country, was the pioneer governor for Nyeri. And the arrest of Rigadi Gashagwa can be attributed to those scandals. But of course, in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. But for those who want to understand the person Rigadi Gashagwa, you need to go back to Wafula Buke's Facebook page. There is a post he made. I just want to read for you part of it so that you can understand Gashagwa. He made this post on 4th of February 2021. February. We are now in July. So which means it has nothing related to this particular incident. Wafula Buke was just draped, was just uh, Describing who Gashagwa was. I'm just going to read, read part of it. Honorable Gashagwa, my college mate, my problem in college. So Honorable Gashagwa was at the University of Nairobi. During the time of Buke was at the University of Nairobi. And it was the problem of Afula Buke at the University of Nairobi. Those who understand Afula Buke will tell you that he didn't even complete university. Because the system believed that it was a problem. That system was Rigadi Gashagwa. So which means Rigadi Gashagwa has been part of the system from that time up to now. So Afula Buke is saying, Gashagwa's partnership with William Ruto can be said to be historically ordained. Theirs is amazing consistency in seeking self. During the time William Ruto was at the university, that's the time Rigadi Gashagwa was at the university. And that's the time Wafula Buke was at the University of Nairobi. All of them. So it's, he's saying that their relationship started like that. And it's like it's ordained. Because as we speak today, Rigadi Gashagwa has emerged from the larger Mount Kenya region as a potential running mate to the deputy president, William Samairuto. Now, Wafula Buke is saying Gashagwa was one of the most expensively dressed 
student in my days in University of Nairobi. He was feared too. When he approached, you lowered your voice for security. Truly, he was the only self-confessed student I knew who talked to Moi directly and bragged about it. He had his following of handout seekers just like now. So what Buke is suggesting here is that during his university years, Rigadi Shagwa was the only student at the University of Nairobi who was known to call President Daniel Toroy teach Arab Moi directly. Directly, that time. You know, it was long. Moi was feared. Very few people would reach Moi. But Rigadi Shagwa, as a student, used to call Moi directly and brag. There are so many people who would call Moi, but they would never brag about it. And he's adding, one day, Solomon Ochola, my ardent supporter, who often carried me shoulder high after rallies, was cornered by comrade Bildad Kisera. He told me, Hall 13, room 101, that Ochola was never a student, but was a police officer. He wanted me to disconnect with him. He had been with us for two years as a student and a member of the university choir. So when you talk of a member of the university choir, then you see Ruto was a member of a CU and a choir at the University of Nairobi. So that's why Buke is saying that the link between the Gashagwa and Ruto is actually ordained. Now, but why do you think he has been arrested? You can go to, to Wafula Buke's Facebook page and read that. Why do you think Rigadi Gashagwa was arrested this morning. The only thing we know is that Rigadi Gashagwa is accused of creating 49 companies and using these 49 companies to do tenders with the government. Cumulatively, he benefited from 12 billion Kenyan shillings. At some point, the government wanted, was trying to try and uh, freeze some of his accounts. And you know, you can't just go and freeze. You have to go seek court order. This guy went, took the money, and nobody understands where those money went to. So that's Rigadi Gashagwa, a very dangerous man. And when it comes to public speaking, like debates, is also one of the lethals. He's courageous. He's been able to take President Ruth Kenyatta and the deep state head on. I opined in one of my videos that the main reason why Rigadi Gashagwa is outwitting Moses Kuria and the rest in the race to succeed, in the race to becoming uh, William Ruto's running mate, is because of his deep pocket. He has money. When the brother was the, the, the governor for Nyeri, then the brother became ill. Rigadi Gashagwa was sort of the governor. So in 2017, he made an entry into politics and succeeded. And after that election, you know, we had the handshake and he's been one of the key supporters of the deputy president. So why do you think he has been arrested? Four reasons. Number one, I think there is a sustained effort to persecute those supporting William Samay Ruto, especially from the larger Mount region. Not necessarily that his arrest is about him. You know, when some of these things happen, other people get scared. So if there are people who are planning to support Ruto, or they are supporting Ruto, but they are not as courageous as Rigadi Gashagwa, then they will chicken out. There are so many of such people. People who are planning to support the DP or are supporting DP. But you know, in this country, billionaires don't make money legally. Whether it's the who you know, whether it's Raila, whether it's uh, Uhuru, whether it's Ruto, these billionaires, even Uhuru Kenyatta, they are doing businesses which are known, legitimate businesses. But being in power helps them take advantage and control those sectors. 
even Raila Moloding has been in business but you know when you are in business and you have you are powerful there are certain things you can get there are certain tenders you can get which you really don't deserve Ruto is a billionaire the question is he was selling chicken if you ask him to take you to the farm someone will take you to some farm in Taita Taveta and that farm was just started operational being operational just a few days ago you get so there are so many people and they are being persecuted they are being forced so number, one. number two it could also be that it's self engineered for sympathy Rigadi Gashago can arrest himself this is a guy who's been in the deep state he's been in the system you can easily manipulate the system get yourself arrested to achieve your objective the objective of Rigadi Gashago arresting himself is that he wants the publicity he wants to win the sympathy of the people when Dindi Nyoro was arrested sometimes back he became a hero Rigadi Gashago will now find things to talk about in the next weekend i tend to think that either Tim Tangatanga sat down and engineered his arrest why am i saying so Dennis Itumbi, who is the hustler's spokesperson, is getting some credible information. Why is he getting the credible information? He gets this credible information from William Samuel Ruto. Why do I suspect so? William Ruto is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. And being the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, whether he's fallen out with the president or not, he still has access to intelligence briefing. So probably there were plans to arrest him. Then Denis Itumbi posted. That's could be one. But number two, probably Denis Itumbi was preempting. They had schemed that we want to, de to we want to deal with this issue of arresting our people. We want to make it political. We want to politicize it. So Denis Itumbi comes up with a theory that there are plans to arrest Rigadi Gashagwa on a Friday. Then on Monday, they are going to come with Moses Kuria. We all know that Itumbi is saying that the arrests are related to Kiamba. The question is, and I believe, I know it could be political, but the arrest cannot be related to Kiamba. For one reason, that these cases, Riyadi Gashagwa is not the first time he's being arrested, Moses Kuria, over CDF, Gashagwa over the 12 billion, it's been there even before a by-election was occasioned in Kiamba. So you can't relate it to that. So they are doing this to ensure that you can't fight Ruto over the issue of corruption. Number three, I think it's also a strategy to scare away people from associating with the DP. You know the people with money. And when you have money, you want power. You want to self-actualize. You want to associate with the mighty. You want to associate with the DP so that if he becomes the president, you'll be able to succeed politically and economically. So what they do, arrest Gashagwa. So if there is someone who wanted to support the DP. Number four, I think it's about freezing his accounts. Really, Gashagwa's accounts are held somewhere. How do you stop Rigadi Gashagwa? Freeze his accounts. He transferred money from point A, point B, point C. You arrest him. You get scared. I mean, enter into... Because when you are arrested and you are taken to that cell for two days, it's normally not very easy. So they want to try and freeze his accounts. And I don't think he will be ready. So probably after getting out of it, he can figure out that is it worth or is it not worth? And it could also be related to the UDA politics. Ruto and his team are planning massive workout. Rigadi Gashago is a key player there. So they are getting confused. So they can't really plan. But importantly, 
it could also be government strategy to divert the attention of Kenyans from the arrest of judges yesterday. There are some judges who were arrested yesterday over corruption scandals. How do you divert the attention of Kenyans from focusing on those arrests? Arrest someone who is a politician. Then politician bring noise makers, they'll make noise about that arrest. Then that other one will go. What will happen? You can't do anything. People, Kenyans will forget. Kenyans normally are known to talk, they forget immediately. I don't know what to think, but that's my take. Again, if you're watching this channel for the first time, take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.